As the 2011 Australasian Our World Underwater Rolodex Scholar, I have been overwhelmed by people's generosity, support and encouragement. I have gained practical experience in a range of areas that I am interested in, and that experience will be invaluable for the future, and the friends and contacts that I have made will continue to be a big part of my life. Here is a glimpse into my experiences. Before the scholarship I had completed my Paddy Open Water Instructor Diploma and was studying toward my Bachelor of Science in Zoology with a minor in Archaeology. I have always had a passion for the ocean but my interest spread very wide so I entered my year with an open mind and aimed to gain experience in a range of different areas. With this I had the opportunity to take courses including the Australasian Institute of Maritime Archaeology course through the Historic Places Trust in Tauranga, New Zealand. The course covered basic knowledge and skills, including mapping and surveying techniques. Leah Mallon at Dive Centre Bondi in Sydney took me for my GUE Fundamentals course, which introduced me to new buoyancy and trim skills that set me up for further technical dive training. I completed my basic cave course with Jill Hyneth in North Florida. Being in a cave underwater was a completely new and bizarre experience, but I quickly understood why people are drawn to them. The thrill as well as the beauty was strangely inviting. In South Australia I helped aboard the Rodney Fox Shark Expeditions with Andrew Fox and crew. The trip was organised by underwater filmmaking team Howard and Michelle Hall. I was able to learn about my cameras and took the first steps at shooting video underwater, with my subjects being some of the most beautiful Australian wildlife.
Following my interest in biological research, I joined 2008 Australasian scholar Steve Linfield in Micronesia to help with his PhD data collection. We travelled aboard the SS Thorfinn with Captain Lance Higgs on a pan micro tour from Yap to Chuk. Steve's PhD is assessing the health of reef fish populations across remote Micronesian islands. As some of the reefs have never been dived before, he is also comparing the natural behavioural response of fish toward the noise of bubbles from open circuit diving compared to silent rebreather diving. In Costa Rica, I volunteered at the University of Costa Rica, as well as with a non-profit organisation called Protoma. Protoma is working towards sustainable fishing in Costa Rica through support for the local fishermen from restaurants and hotels. They also work with turtle populations on Costa Rica's Pacific coast. Five species, including leatherbacks and green turtles, are threatened by poachers and predators. Protoma's hatcheries provide protection and a way to monitor the vulnerable species. I was also fortunate enough to visit Cocos Island with the Undersea Hunter Group. Costa Rican waters provide a large number of shark fins to the Asia market. With illegal long lining a problem in Cocos Island National Park, I was able to learn about the ranger's attempts at enforcing the ban and meet people involved with conservation organisations such as SeaSave, who work to increase awareness about the threats to this isolated corner of the ocean. In Papua New Guinea I helped at Mahonia Nadari Research and Conservation Centre. The centre works with local schools and villages to increase awareness about the importance of conservation of the local reefs. Through marine environment education programmes, students increase awareness of local biodiversity, safety at sea and human impact on the environment. I also helped with administration work at Walindi Plantation Resort and had the opportunity to dive on the pristine reefs of Kimby Bay. By visiting aquariums such as the Monterey Bay Aquarium and the Aquarium of the Pacific, I was able to learn about their importance in educating people about the ocean. Through watching and interacting with exhibits, people are able to learn about an environment that they otherwise wouldn't get an opportunity to experience. I joined Christian and Erin for a road trip through Florida, meeting people and diving in the beautiful clear springs. We also travelled to the Dominican Republic to work with Professor Charlie Baker on his Living Museums of the Sea project. Here we carried out coral recruitment surveys and dived in Padre Nuestro Cavern, where many animal remains have been found. Christian and I also visited the Divers Alert Network headquarters in North Carolina. Here we undertook our first aid instructor training, learnt about diving accidents and the research that Dan is carrying out into the fitness of diving. The week was a very valuable experience. I visited Catalina Hyperbaric Chamber, where Carl Huggins showed me the basics of hyperbaric medicine. I was able to help run the chamber dives and also had the opportunity to take part in one. It was a strange feeling and one that I am glad to have experienced to understand what patients go through. Back home in New Zealand, I was able to meet with people who are carrying out marine research at institutions such as Te Papa, the National Museum, Victoria University in Wellington, and the University of Otago in Dunedin. 
I was also able to experience new underwater areas of my own country and learn about conservation efforts that I will be able to continue to support after my scholarship year.